guys, this is Liz. Welcome back to Mom's Machines. We have a special treat for you today. I'm actually at my brother's house, and what we have behind me is his organ keyboard. Let's get started. The home pipe organ. Well, first, let me tell you what the components are. This is a Yamaha DX7, the most popular synthesizer ever made. Uh, Yamaha made 200, sold 260,000 of them uh, at $2,500 a piece. So it's a quarter of a billion dollars worth of these things. This synthesizer raw had a form of synthesis called FM synthesis, and you hear it in all of the rock music from the 80s and 90s. This machine here. Right now, it's 40 years old. I just use it as a keyboard to give input to my uh, computer software. This is another Yamaha uh, instrument called a PF80. It's, a full, it's got full 88 keys, and it's got weighted keyboards, so it feels a lot more like a piano than this top one does. And finally, down here, is the pedal board newly made in Rimini, Italy. And it is a, it weighs 100 pounds. It's a very heavy, amazing thing. All right, so those are the components. They're all hooked up to the computer over here via MIDI. An old-fashioned, 50-year-old standard that the musical instrument business came up with. And you cannot get to... Uh, it, inside or outside any rock rock band or anything without midis. So here is the 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 mid the thing that takes the midi in, and the midi is converted into signals to USB and goes to the computer via USB. This is uh, I guess you could say the, the 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 picture of the fake console. Behind, in this computer is a high end audio card good USB, lots of processing power. This software, which is made in England, it's called Hauptwerk, H-A-U-P-T-W-E-R-K. Uh, Hauptwerk, the Germans would call, we call it the great, swell, great pedal. So it matches what you have. Matches what I have. And I've set up some different sounds. So here's one sound, middle C. Oh yeah, yeah. Now the way that software works is that it's a very, very sophisticated signal processing program, but in order to get these sounds, and as a matter of fact, you might be able to hear it. You can hear background noise. Yes. You can hear the fans and the pumps going that make the organ make sounds. So these are real organ? They are, these are, the, these the, are recorded organ sounds? They are recorded organ sounds. They go in with very sophisticated sound equipment and they take samples of every pipe individually. They have several hundred organs, yes. And this? So this is called, called St. Anne's Mosley. Oh, that's what this is. It's, a, it's, a, uh, it's an organ in England, probably built around 1800. You can actually go see this organ here. Th this organ, th this is that probably a picture, but animated with the software. Uh, you can also play, play things like this if you really want to. Are these like stoppers for the pipes? Yeah, yeah th those are called stops. They select the, ra the ranks of organs. And then it's so sturdy. Also, I can I can press as many keys as I want. It'll play them all. 
So you, you can see it selected. Yeah, you can see it. It's an organ bench. It's a professional cathedral quality organ bench and pedal. So does this feel like you're playing an organ? Yes. You used to play the organ. Yes. A real organ. Yes. Feels it, feel, like it feels organ. the same. Wow. And of course it sounds the same. Starts up. Now press a key. Nothing. All right. So you're going to change the instrument? Now pre pre press so a key. So wait, what'd you do? I pulled out a, a stop. A stop. And I'll add stops. You can just hold the key down. So you're adding those little stop things. So are those voice different voices? Yes. Yeah. I'll do one. So when they when they when they make this. So I'm holding the same key. Yep. So press do the stops. We'll do a we'll do a dulciana. If you have two or three out at the same time, you get them all. So that's replicating a real pipe organ, like you got the stops. Yep. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm still just pressing one key. Now go up to the other keyboard. Nothing. Oh, you're doing the other side. No. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like all those together. Yeah. And I'm just still pressing one key. Right. And now I'm going to go turn them off one by one. That's pretty cool. Where did you get the stand for the keyboards? Uh, I bought it from a music company in Germany. And it was had to be big enough for this big keyboard. It had to fit the keyboard, and it also and the, uh, and the pedal board had to go underneath, had to go underneath it, it, and the and, and the bench had to be had to it all had to be had fit to fit had to be together. fitted together. Yeah. A lot of a lot of stands they have these sort of X crossbars for and stability. You couldn't, have the pedal you, couldn't you couldn't have a pedal board. So that's right. why it's like that. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Five year old components. Mm -hmm. Finally got it all working. So inside there are some high end audio stuff, along some pretty sophisticated graphics and and you know processing power and everything else. But I had it all in mind, so I bought I bought that MIDI, MIDI from whatever. Motu, Mark of the Unicorn. So I had hooked up the keyboards to this completed machine and bought the software in a, around middle of October. And wow. then I ordered the pedal board. And so two days ago, the pedal board got hooked oh, up. Oh, two days. This two days ago. Two Th days old. This is two days old, right. Wow. And this came with it. And the pedal board was already, it came ready to go. You didn't have to put it together. The pedal board was ready to go. But you had the, to the bench we had to put yeah, together. Because so this company in Italy, they actually make real pipe organs. They also make electronic instruments. Mm -hmm. They make hybrid instruments. The hybrids are a mixture of software and real pipes. So you mix the electronics up with the real, I mean, why not, right? Yeah. And there's always a question, how is it tuned? You can, you can retune the software. Awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Something by a Dutch composer of the 15th century, Schwielink. While my brother keeps playing his music, I want to thank you guys for watching this video and please make any comments or ask questions in the comment section below. And by the way, thank you guys for the comments you gave me on my auto mower on the one that got hit by lightning. I'm going to be trying it next week. Please like or subscribe this channel and this video and have a great day.